Hey, what's up, Mod Squad? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the move that has been the most talked about on our 80 day obsession test group the dreaded Buddha squats. So, I know I saw a lot of you guys complaining about knee pain, it was bothering you, you were having all kinds of issues. Here is why this move tends to be painful and the modifier version of this is not necessarily the best if you have knee issues. So when you're looking from the side at what the Buddha squat is and you've got the, um, the weights in your hands, the first thing that you see is do you see how my chest is collapsing on my knee and now my knee is in this angle where I'm gonna come down. Now there's a ton of pressure that's shooting into my patella. And then that's gonna cause sharp shooting pains right up through that knee and is going to cause a lot of pain. Plus now you're down on the ground and you're at this odd angle. So you're pushing your hips back, your chest is here, and this is really uncomfortable. This is not necessarily the best move. So then from that move, the modifier version is to step back and again, see how the angle in my knee is not aligned with my hips? That's a lot of pressure going into that kneecap especially. So that's why I like to stay away from these if you have any kind of knee issues and this is why I don't love this move. So what are the alternatives so you can get the benefit? Well, that move is working your glutes. So your options are a few different things. You can go to this option where you're gonna grab a weight, you're gonna hold it here, you're going to bring your foot up to a position like a table, or you could use your ottoman. You're gonna make sure that you step your foot up. Now it's super important that as you come down and as you squeeze up, that this knee here is tracking with the alignment of that back foot. So you're not leaning forward, you gotta lean back and then pull up, down, and then up, my cue when I'm doing lunges is you are on an elevator, not an escalator. So I'm going straight up to the top, I'm not taking the stairs. All right, so that's going to be option number one. Option two is to go lunge, so you can step it back, you can stay in a static lunge position, you can drop that knee down to an athletic lunge, let the knee hit the ground if you want, and then come back up. But again, check that angle. Best thing that you can purchase is a $5.99 mirror from Target. You can watch your form, you can make sure that everything is in alignment. So I'm perfect 90 degrees here, perfect 90 degrees here. Everything is in alignment. My hips are squared. I'm making sure that my um, shoulders aren't rounded, keeping everything back in this pretty nice position. And then I'm using the heel of that front leg to push up through. You should never be in your toes when you're pushing through any type of a move, especially squats or lunges. That weight needs to be back in the heel and not in the front of the foot. Why? Because when you go to the front of the foot and I press forward, see how immediately my alignment changes. Now my knee is not tracking with my ankle. It's coming forward this way, which is shooting tons of pain and pressure into that patella again. So that is your option. One is to go here and to keep it at a static lunge. You'll burn out those glutes and they'll feel good. Option three for this is to hold the weight and go out of normal squat, down and up. Now, if you turn those feet out a little bit, and if you were to use a table, you can get those glutes really good by sitting back. So, from this position, I'm gonna come here and watch how I sit, 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 my hips back, I tap down, and then I drive through those heels. Again, keeping my chest up, sit, 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 back, drive up through those heels. I'm getting more of the glutes, less of the quads, and I'm feeling it on the inside as well. So that's your option for that move. Or go to a normal squat, down and up, right here, making sure that you are staying heavy in the heels, you're sitting that butt back, keeping chest up, when you're doing that squat. So there are your options for the Buddha squat.